Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, DIY Doris is gonna do hanging a picture. In this video, I'm gonna talk you through the tools you need and the methods to get any picture up onto a wall. So, I was contacted on Facebook by Carrie with a question. She basically said, I wanna know how to hang pictures in a brick wall without cocking it up. Not quite the language she used, but anyway. I wanna make this channel about you guys and for you guys. So I was like, yeah, sure. I'll knock out a video on that. So enough messing, let's get into it. Carrie said, I wanna hang them on brick walls. You're gonna need to get into brick, hammer drill with masonry drill bits. Don't forget, I did that big video on what drill bits you need. I'll try and pop a card somewhere and I'll drop it in the description box below. Big old deep dive into your drills and what you need. Also gonna need tape measure and a pencil. This is a carpenter's pencil. You can use any pencil or even a pen if you think you can get it off the wall. I have done that before. Gonna need a hammer. You're gonna need a spirit level. You're gonna need some wall plugs and you're gonna need some screws. Talk about that a little bit more in a minute. A screwdriver set with Phillips head screwdrivers. Stay tuned and keep watching to find out what you need a chisel for. So most of these tools that I'm gonna use, funnily enough, are in my list of top five tools every woman needs at home. Cheeky link to the video up here if you're watching on a mobile or down below if you're watching on your TV or a computer. With your screws, it kinda doesn't matter what size screws you have or what head they've got on them. I've got some, I think these are like cabinet screws with big heads on them. I got some little bitty screws. I don't even know where they came from. I got, I mean, these look almost the same. They've got a slightly different head on them. Doesn't really matter. The only thing really is you want it to be long enough to go into the wall and stick out a little bit to hang where you need to hang it. Make sense? Keep watching. I've got loads of different ones. They're a couple of dollars from your local hardware. I've got little skinny ones, slightly bigger fatter ones, really long skinny ones. I've got some plasterboard plugs. I don't even know why I have those, but anyway. So, onto my marble bar in the Pilbara picture. Beautiful spot. On the back, because this is from a proper framing joint, it's got this. Now, I could use one of the 3M hooks, but because Carrie needs to know how to do it, I got you, sis. We're gonna drill a hole in the wall to hang it on. I want it in the middle of this wall somewhere. I've got the shelf in the way, but eh. I'm gonna measure and mark my halfway point on the wall. Gonna double check that it doesn't look stupid. Do you know what? Even though I've measured it, I want it a bit further that way. So I'm gonna make the mark, yeah, about there. Screw it. Right, I got my number one tool my hammer drill. I've got a masonry bit in there. This is a, do you know what? I don't even know what size it is. This is a 6.5 mil bit or quarter inch if you're in America. All right, so I've got my 6.5 mil drill bit. Now that's gonna take, dependent where you are, green wall plugs. However, if you're not sure, just eyeball it. Like, like so. I'm literally gonna be like, no, it's too small for me blue guys. Yeah, it might actually work for my red guys. I'm thinking green might be the way to go. However, when you buy, like I bought, the six piece masonry drill set, <laughs> check it out. Even though I've just checked out me red, me blue, me green, it actually tells you on some of them what size wall plugs your drill bit will take. Check it out. Looks like I was right. So all I'm gonna do is, right, drill one hole where I've made that mark, stick a wall plug in it, Screw a screw into there, leave it hanging out a little bit, hang the picture on the wall. Sounds easy, let's do it. 
Now then, what I want to talk to you about is real quick. Couple of problems you can run into doing this with wall plugs, right? Say you've got a wall plug that's too long. It's gonna look like this. Now, see that? That's as far as that's gonna go in there. I got a couple of options, right? Number one, I can stick a screw in and hike it out. Or number two, this is what you need the chisel for. Stick with me. If you've only got like a real tiny little bit just left sticking out the wall, get your chisel. Bam. Just chisel the end off. I have actually taken a little bit of the wall with it there. Oops. But it'll be covered by the picture. So it's right. And I can fill it and paint it when I'm done. When I leave. There we are. Nice and flush to the wall. Now, that's only about, probably about 10 mil in. Which is not deep enough for what I, for the screw that I'm going to put in there. So I need to get it back out. Want to know how to get it back out if you cock up? Keep watching. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screw in it a little bit. That's as far as that's going. I'm going to get my hammer and I'm just going to hike it out. Hey. Oof. Now then, he has taken a bit of the wall with him. Maybe I should do a video on how to fill holes. Drop it in the comments box below if that's something you want to see. All I'm going to do now is make that hole deeper. <laughs> now, the thing with wall plugs. This screw or this screw, which do you think will fit? Both. Because they like expand and contract. So if you just got like random screws like I do, either either or. Whatever is going to stick out far enough so you can hang that picture on it. Now, it doesn't look that pretty because I've messed around and mithered with it just to make a point, but it's going to be covered by the picture anyway. Easy. Now you know how to put a hole in a wall. Moving on to the big mirror. So, as you can see here on the back of this one, there's just the two points um, that I want to get screws into. So, I just measured the distance between those two points, wrote it on the wall in pencil to remind myself, and then I just measured to get the middle point of the section of wall where I was going to hang it. So, I mark that middle point on the wall, and then I just divide that measurement, so 6950 divided by 2, and I just want to do that distance either side of that middle point. That'll get it nice and centre in the wall. So, I did try and work it out in my head, but not trusting myself or my maths, I whip the phone out and just divide it by 2. So I'm measuring out half the width of where I want those two screws to be, either side of the center point of the wall. And then I'm just making a little mark either side. So I've got my fairly accurate width for where I wanna make those holes either side of that middle point of my wall there. I'm using the spirit level here just to use it as a straight ledge and draw a line straight up on either side. This is gonna help me get it properly accurate. This is me just double checking the rough height that I want the mirror to, to be on the wall at. 
I'm sort of half eyeballing it here. You can go real to town on the measuring, but I just got it roughly where I wanted, marked roughly where the top of the mirror should be, and then worked it out from there. And you can take this as far as you want to take it. I'm just doing a measurement now from where the top of the mirror wants to be as far down as where those little hook things are going to be that I'm actually going to hang over the screws that I'm about to put in the wall. So I've got my measurement from the top of the mirror down to where that first hole's going to go, and I'm going to put the screw in. Just to be doubly, doubly cautious, I'm using my spirit level, and I'm going in a complete straight line, straight across from that first screw, straight across to meet that other line that I drew, going up and down, to meet where that second screw is going to go. This should make everything completely level, completely accurate. But always double check your measurement with your tape measure because walls are not always truly straight. And we're on to drilling those holes where those two points meet. Same as before. Two holes, two wall plugs, two screws. Get that mirror hung straight on there. So, the mirror is up, next one. This big bastard. On the back of this one, there is the same two hooks that were on the mirror. However, my girlfriend, smart lady, had these Velcro strips on. These are brilliant for if you don't have a drill or don't want to use a drill. These are the 3M Command Velcro strips. So these hold up to 7.2 kilos, or if you're in America, that's 16 pounds. That's quite a lot. This definitely doesn't weigh more than 7.2 kilos. It's pretty light. The instructions are all on there. It says, click, stick, and press. Let's get into that one. She's got loads. She's got like one, two, three, four on each side. I don't really think I'm going to use that many, but hey-ho. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use these. If you watched my wall decal video, you will know I have no fingernails. Here's how you get it off. First up, 
should you ever use these? I think I've just kind of moodied up one that I just had under my sink. I maybe had that strip and had that hook randomly. I don't think they come as a pack. But anyway, if you use any of the hooks, you need to make sure that this little sticky bit, oh my God, no nails. You need to make sure that this little tabby guy always sticks out from under the hook. And all you do is you've got to pull it as close to the wall as you possibly can like this. Oof, yeah. Completely damage free, perfect for rentals, or if you don't have a drill. So just remember guys, you can follow me on social media. If you've got a job that you want tackling and you're not sure how to go about it, you can either drop it in the comments box below or do what Carrie did, pop it on my Facebook page, drop me a DM on Insta, tweet me. So if I've missed anything, drop it in the comments box below. I'll try and explain it. Don't forget, follow me on all my social medias, do all that YouTube bizzo, subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that bizzo. And if you're watching this far till the end, please comment the word carry in the box below. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks very much for sticking with me. And just remember, Team Doris, we can do it. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.